Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another episode of checking out one of your guys' solar systems. So today we're on episode 124 of this series now and we have got one system to view today from the user Noah from my Discord server. So a massive thank you to them for sending this in. But before we begin guys, just a, um, a massive thank you as always for all the support, everyone subscribing, the likes, all that stuff. We've been really well with like goals. Uh, and things like that recently so just a huge thanks to you all for that and yeah before we begin as well if you want to send in your own simulations for this series make sure to either join my discord server link in the description and you can upload it in our um, custom systems upload channel um, if you want to do that you can dm it to me if you want to do that too or you can um, let me know the name of your simulation in the comments and then i can find it on the workshop um, once you upload it there so yeah they're the three sort of things you can do if you want to um get a system in on these videos but you have that all out the way guys let's get into this system so yeah we've got one system from the user noah and yeah their system is called the mega neptune system so i'm very interested to see what we have um, got to see today so let's just go ahead and open it wait for the game to stop freezing for no reason whatsoever don't know why it's i'm um, doing this but yeah okay there we go okay and then we want to search the mega that was a complete fail there right can mega neptune system okay let's see what he is prepared for us here so Right, here we go. Mega Neptune system. Oh, we've got a lot of reading. Right, so welcome to the Mega Neptune system. If you remember the Fragment system, this is, uh, or, or then this is a sequel to it. The Fragment system was created from the ruins and the remnants of a solar system. Yes, I remember that. That was a really cool concept. I really like that one. The Mega Neptune system was built um, of the ruins and the remains of a Fragment system. So it's a sequel of a sequel of our solar system then. Okay. Uh, so it's built from the ruins. Here's the backstory. After a billion years, after you checked out, um, it checked it out. Fragment C had an interaction with Fragment B, causing it to fall inwards towards Fragment A. There was a supernova and the end of the Fragment system. So basically, the system reset once, once more because it was originally from the solar system after the, like the sun exploded, and now we're on a whole new version again so this is this is really cool and there was a supernova at the end of fragment system remember in the fragment system two objects in the solar system survive well one object survived from the fragment system um and it just so happened to be earth so i can see that green earth earth now crumbling there so that'd be cool and it just happens to be earth one of the objects that survived the solar system earth is now 22 billion years old at this point so the earth is ancient now the earth is so ancient we're in the very far future i mean by this time the milky way and andromeda would have collided long ago at this point that's how far in the future we are really really cool concept i really like this backstory um the mega neptune system was formed in the year 18 billion ad so yeah even then that's way far ahead um, in the future there. The system consists of 38 objects, and I've been working on the system almost every day for the last three days, okay? Uh, this is my second system ever. I've sent it for you to check out. Hope you enjoy. Appears I managed to make the glitch gas giant. What even is this? Oh, okay, interesting. Massive thank you to Blue Marble who allowed me to get what even is this planet on the rocky planet from the Steam Workshop. Oh, yeah, because I used to... Um, the I collabed with him. That was anonymous. Blue Marble was anonymous. Um, so, yeah, we uh, we, we um, collabed with systems and stuff. We made a template system and all that. But, yeah, that all out of the way. Before we start... I'm going to go back to the original, so the fragment system. So this, so this was the prequel to this system. So, okay, so this was right. So yeah, this was um, this was set in the year nine billion AD, and now we're in the year nine of twenty-two billion. So we've taken a massive jump, and yeah, this was the system. So it had the Earth. So this is what Earth looked like in the last system. So I have to take account of how it looks into today's in today's system. Yeah, this is what Earth looked like previously. So yeah, there we go there. So yeah, pretty ruined well, but yeah, now that's done, we're going to head to the whole new Mega Neptune system. We're going to see how this system has changed. So, there we go. And also, if you want to check out that um, system, go ahead and check out the uh, one of the previous episodes. Uh, I'm not sure which one it is, but I'm pretty sure um, it had a thumbnail of a green background, so it's quite a recent one. Right, anyway, so that's all I'm um, done now. Right, so let's see what we have got here. So the star is now Neptune A, so this is now the dominant star um, in the remains of the solar system. So this is created from all of the supernovas and stuff, creating a new star. So there we go. So here it is. So bigger stats than the original sun that was here. So mass radius, way bigger, way more luminous than the sun is as well, 36 suns. So right, there we go. Right, first of the planets. So we immediately start off with a sweet-looking gas giant. Here we go. Is the lighting mode... Uh, we're going realistic. There we go. So there we go. That is a very nice gas giant. It's got a ton of bands to it. It's actually glowing hot. It's literally glowing. Look at that. So it's emitting a bit of light. If we just uh, turn all that off. So you can see it's... Yeah. 5,200 degrees. And it's not glowing white. The, or the planet itself. It's got a white glow around it. But the physical object... It should be this sort of shade of blue here. So it seems like it's a bit of a glitch one. But it does look pretty awesome with those mixes of a really really nice combination of colors there 
and it has got one moon as well so here it is here so it's a small world it's got a dark surface we can see there's obviously um volcanic rock on the surface magma lava with a really nice blue atmosphere on it as well yeah blue atmospheres with like lava underneath they do look awesome we've seen some really good ones in space engine um as well there but yeah there we go so there are those guys so nice start right so now heading out so now we've got blue over here and whoa this is an insane whoa very very nice indeed i've seen an object like this before actually i'm not sure if it's um this was the exact one maybe this is a whole new one but that, objects like this do ring a bell but yeah it's cool to see modded objects like this do still exist and you can still get them yeah that, that does look really cool i did yeah i'm gonna quickly go through my list of objects i believe i had an object that did look quite similar to this i wonder if i i don't know if i still have it anymore but yeah, it was a pretty bright one. Let me see here. I think it was this one, yeah, Orion. Let's see if this object still works. Okay, so yeah, there we go. So it was this object. So you can see they're, they're the sort of similar format. You can see they're very, very bright reflective ones. But yeah, this is a whole new one, this blue one then. But it looks very nice um, as well. I, re I really like that. I'm going to have to get a copy of that. I think it looks great. Um, let's look underneath the um, surface as well. So there we go. Oh, it's got some monstrous cloud. Look at those clouds. Ho, oh. ho very very nice neptune blue clouds there so yeah we can see it's mostly a neptune blue sort of themed system you can tell by the background the stars and all that that looks like a venus texture i want to say that definitely looks like venus surface colors custom default so it looks like it's a tinted venus texture to make it blue that would be my guess there so that is insane looking but yeah that, that is a cool looking object um with all those atmosphere and stuff there so yeah that i'm guessing that was venus at one point and then we have the second object over here. So this is a, um, a reddish pinkish world. And it's also very hot in temperature, as we can see, 500 degrees. So, yeah, there we go. So, really nice um, objects we have got so far. Right, so heading out again. So, now we have got Daffodil over here. This one has got some crazy bands on it. It's got a ton of moons. It's tilted on its side like Uranus as well. So, yeah, there we go. It's pretty cold here, minus 269 degrees. But, yeah, there we go. So, right, moving on to the moon. So, we've got S1 over here. So there we go. That's quite reflective, actually. Let's get a closer look at this. So here it is. So yeah, quite a reflective object. You don't see objects like with this reflective mod to them anymore. So they're quite um, rare to see now. So Daffodil S1. Um, we've got some micro satellites. So MS, I believe that's what that stands for. So micro satellite one and two. Then we have got another one, number three. And is there a as an MS4? So there's only one regular satellite, which is um, S1. Then there's no S2 by the looks of it. But yeah, there we go. So there's Daffodil. Right, now we have what's left of Earth once again. So the Earth at this point, so it says four galactic years. In theory, that would be 22. But yeah, this would be very old now. And just look at the state of it. I mean, last simulation, you could already see it was it was completely ruined. It didn't look anything like it used to. But now this Earth has been through a lot. It survived our sun. It survived this star in the previous fragment system. And now it's orbiting a new star. And yeah, it, it's a wreck. As you can see, It's it's just a very, very boring just eradicated planet you can see it's all just rock no signs of life water no signs of color it's just an a barren wasteland pretty much at this point it's very very hot in temperature i'm not sure if that's a glitch or not but yeah you can see that not a nice world whatsoever anymore compared to what it used to be and obviously atmosphere and clouds it hasn't got any of those but yeah there we go so that's all that's left of earth i really like that i think that looks really cool how it's just turned into a complete like wasteland now that's a really really cool All right now moving on we've got neptune b so there's a second star it's also a blue star um out here it's smaller than the main star as we can see luminosity it's not it's around the sort of power level of a red dwarf by the looks of it there um size wise obviously if we pull it in suns it's not really anything special there it's basically just a red dwarf which is tinted blue um by the looks of it so there we go it's also got a custom color so very nice indeed so there we go All right and then we have got some more objects and whoa Okay, this looks insane. Look at this. It's also got the blue light from the star as well. It's got these very weird points at the top and bottom. I've noticed a lot of planets have got these weird points. I think it's just a visual glitch in the game at the moment. Because it's at minus 267, so it makes no sense that there'd be any heat to create that red. Uh, and then this um, area at the bottom as well. So yeah, I think that's just a visual glitch. But yeah, if we just look at the planet itself. Um, obviously, the starlight would make it look slightly different. But yeah, there it is. Very insane blue indeed there with the... Um, black bands on it but yeah very nice looking object indeed as well so yeah there we go all right next object out here so nepem's 1945 there we go so there we are so that's 18 degrees this one it's a more regular looking gas giant compared to the crazy moddy ones we've seen and we've also got ah so this is the what even is this object so there we go yeah 
classic object now. This thing is so old at this point. I mean, this object was created back in, I think it was 2017. The, uh, what even is this? I mean, I think I've still got mine. Yeah, there it is, the original save of it. So yeah, just a crazy, crazy object here. He's ch slightly changed it to its original appearance. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay, very interesting. What even is this is broken now? It's just a random gas giant. I didn't know that. Well, the more you know. So that object's apparently broken now. So yeah, I guess this would be the new version of it. Huh, interesting. I had no idea my what even this was broken. This hasn't got any hydrogen on it either. So yeah, pretty um interesting stuff nonetheless. But yeah, there we go. So what even is this the new form of it? I guess since my one doesn't work anymore. But yeah, there we go. Again, it's got that weird um area at the bottom. I believe that's because it's at 5,000 degrees it's causing this. But yeah, I'm guessing that's a glitch. Oh, I want to say it's a glitch. But um yeah, there we go. So, all right, there we go. So, that's Neptune B. All right, now heading out. So, we've got Neptune C, and it's good old Planet 9 out here. Well, oh, it's a very similar version um, to my version of Planet 9. But, yeah, you can see it's roughly the sort of same setup as mine. There's a few different colored bands in there. So, 400 degrees has a bit of um, hot clouds on it. It's very weird how it's got that line there. Yeah, there's definitely some glitches going on in this system. But, yeah, there we go. Then we've got C1 over here, so another um, planet. So, there we go. This looks like a moon texture. Of some kind um, you can see there's craters on it with a red atmosphere and tinted and stuff very weird line of ocean there it's just showing more glitches um, in universe sandbox I mean someone make a count of how many we've seen in this um, in this simulation uh, but yeah it's pretty crazy then we got Bespin over here hey that's a, one of my oldest objects I have I still have that I believe as well Bespin yeah there it is Bespin and this is one of my oldest um, objects this was a random spawn Back in the day, it's slightly different to this new Bespin. This is from Star Wars. This is the planet Cloud City um, is on. But yeah, that Bespin, this was a random spawn back before you could customize gas giants or mod gas giants. This was way, way, way back in the day I got this object. I was just spamming random gas giants trying to get cool looking ones. And then you know, I got this one. So it's quite a little um, cool little story behind that one. But yeah, there we go. So that's a new Bespin. And again, it's got that white glitchy bit at the top because it's at 5,000 degrees but there's no reason it should be at 5,000 it's nowhere near any stars and those stars weren't exactly luminous or have crazy numbers so it's very weird um, why the planets in here are doing that so yeah I'm putting that down to glitches um, but yeah there we go so now we've got Neptune D so it seems to be in a binary with Neptune E over there this one has definitely got a modded blue to it as well looking really cool and then it's got one planet as well also at 5,000 degrees yeah I'm, I'm not buying the 5,000 degrees I think that's broken 100% then it's got one insane what has happened here i mean i'm not sure if it's supposed to have this hot glowing area on it but my god it looks awesome i mean look at this that is and it's got a line of water as well going into this absolute it's like it's been it's like there's been a collision on it or something but i mean that is an insane looking world i mean the glitches made quite a cool looking world on this one I mean, that is insane look at that wow so some of the glitches could be quite beneficial. I mean, that one does look really, really awesome there. Uh, now heading out to the last star of the day. So Neptune E. It's a red dwarf. As we can see here, very low stats on everything. So it's got um, one planet called Tor here. Yeah, no way a red dwarf would heat it to 5,000, that's for sure. And then we've got Tor A. So there we go. Again, with that weird dot in the north there from created from the high temperatures. And then we've got Tor B over here. So a bunch of more gas giants as well. So there we go. Righty, and I believe, is that it? So Neptune E, Neptunian guys, planet. So the last planet of the uh, system here. Okay, so here we go. So it's a nice dark blue, as we can see. It's quite hot in temperature at 600. So this one's not at 4,000, so maybe it is intended to be at 600. But yeah, there we go. So we'll get a closer look at it. On, um, oh, we're already on flashlight. But yeah, there we go there. It's a weird lines blocking out the hot clouds there. That's a very strange glitch. But yeah, there we go. So it's quite a nice dark blue shade. It's only got one band. As you can see here, so yeah, nice dark blue. Let's just uh, remove the heat from it just so we can see. So that's what it actually looks like. So it's a nice dark blued out um, planet right there. If we put it on realistic, completely dark. So yeah, there's no reason why it would be um, hot in temperature with those um, crazy numbers. But yeah, there we go. So there's the Neptunian guys planet. So the last um, last planet of the day there. So yeah, overall, really, really cool system. Really, really like the concept. I like it's a, I like how it's a sequel to the previous simulation we've um, viewed from uh, the user Noah from Discord. So yeah, really, really nice job indeed, Noah. I really enjoyed it. So yeah, let's just get a list of all the objects. So yeah, Neptune C, pretty big um, object here. 
but yeah there we go and then we got the two um custom colored um stars that dark blue star does look really nice and then onto the um, other planets this one is 100 percent my favorite out of the planets really, really like the mixture of bands because this one also looks cool but it's using the same colors over and over again but this one has got all different shades there's a bit of purples blues indigos in there i think it looks great that is 100 percent the best gas giant if you ask me um, out of all of the planets and then for rocky planets this one takes the cake by far blue here this looks amazing love the modded sort of glow to it it's very reflective love it i think it looks great so yeah there we go but just a quick theory of mine can you customize this does it work with any color doesn't look like it does i think i've just broken it it's not reflective anymore look at that so yeah this it's definitely modded because modded one if you mod a modded planet's atmosphere in game it usually breaks it and i just did break it there but yeah that one was definitely my favorite of the rockies we've also got the uh, what even is this in here it's looking very very glitched as well of the water on it but yeah there we go there and then this insane one as well i mean i'm not sure if it's supposed to be like this but it does look pretty insane as well but yeah the blue object that definitely takes the cake for me but yeah that all out the way guys let me know what you thought of this um system down below in the comments i thought it was a really really cool one i really liked um i really like this one as a sequel as well i think it looks really cool backstory thumbs up from me i think that's awesome and again a massive thank you to the user noah on discord for sending this in so yeah like i said at the start of the video guys if you want to send your own systems in make sure to either join my discord server link in the description or let me know the name of it in the comments on the steam workshop but yeah that all out the way guys a massive thank you for watching today's video as well let's see if we can go for 30 likes for this really really cool neptune um mega neptune system really really um awesome stuff there and yeah guys make sure you all have a great day subscribe if you're new helps on the journey to 13 and no 14 000 subscribers now yeah i'm getting all mixed up with this i can't keep up so i must say thank you um again for 13 000. But yeah make sure to help us on the journey to 14 000 if you are new and yeah stay safe out there guys and i'll see you in the next video goodbye